<sighs> and there we go, people. Full time at St. James's Park. <sighs> We're in a semi final for the first time in decades. I think in 46 years. We haven't reached a semi final of this cup in 46 years. Madness. We are in the semi finals of the Caribou Cup. What the fuck? Dan Byrne getting his first goal for Newcastle United. Um, unbelievable scenes. Still kind of believe it. Um, wow. Newcastle United were amazing again tonight. Um, they bounced back after their defeat to Sheffield Wednesday, of course, and made eight changes. Tonight, we have a full strength squad out. The squad with no can perform, the squad we've had out all season, who was third in the Premier League. Just destroyed Leicester all around the pitch. Pressing them, more aggressive, wanting the ball more, done more with the ball. In the first three, four minutes, Newcastle could have been 2 0 up. Um, chances galore um, from everyone. Willick was outstanding today, Joe Linton was outstanding today, Miggy. Um, everyone's done a shift, you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, talk about the goals first. Um, it, half time was nil nil, come out. Uh, I can't remember what time it was, um, what he scored, but Dan Byrne makes an amazing run um, pretty much into the box of, in their box. And there's a 1 2 with Joe Linton, and he runs onto it. People are grabbing him, but they're kind of getting the win the He just slots up his right foot right in the bottom corner, past Ward. And he scores his first goal for the club. He runs to the um, corner flag, slides on his knees. He looks so happy in the face, so proud. Um, being a local lad himself, and um, especially at that Gallagher stand, that, that corner bit. Where he's been a season ticket holder in the past <clears throat> as a kid. It's what dreams are made of, and um, unbelievable stuff. And I'm pr buzzing for Dan Byrne. I said, I said for weeks now I wanted Botman and Byrne to score their goals for Newcastle United because I want them to do. Dan Byrne got us tonight. It was fantastic. Great finish for a, someone who's six foot five, six foot seven to finish like that. That's talent. That's unreal. Um, he was absolutely lethal finish. Quality, amazing. Um, now going to the other goal, Joe Linton. Um, again, there's a wonderful pass from Miguel Miron diagonal straight through the middle, and Joe Linton on the left wing cuts in, gets it in first time, smashes it with his left foot and goes in. An outstanding finish by Joe Linton. Um, he could have easily scuffed that one easily if it sliced at anything, but he hit it perfect bottom corner. Absolutely amazing. And one more thing I want to touch on as well, I've just saw something absolutely hilarious online, I bet you've all saw it. Dan Byrne doing that wiggle thing in the dressing room. <laughs> I've been absolute stitches. Um, Eddie Howe was creased. It was, it was a funny moment. Um, amazing stuff. Um, good bit of band, you know what I mean? Um... Absolutely creased I was. It's like, what the hell was that? What, what's it called? What is that? The word must have been awesome. Mad thing. It was, uh, it was insane. Um, quality stuff. Um, but yeah, I'm surprised they let the sky cameras go in the back of the, the dressing room um, to have a look. It's mad because I, un, I was only in there last week doing a stadium tour. So it's mad how they're all sitting there now in that room I've been in. It's just unreal. Um, but yeah, Leicester... They had a few good spells. When Vardy came on, he looked dangerous. We all know Jamie Vardy can get him behind. Um, he had one great chance, the first chance when he came on, and he missed a sitter. It went wide. All I know is if that was a Jamie Vardy of his prime a couple of years ago when Leicester won the title, he would have buried that. Um, they had another chance a couple of minutes after that could have scored, but they didn't. Kept the clean sheet again, as we do all the time. Best defence in the league. Best defence in English, um, all the leagues, I think. Incredible, <sighs> but yeah, Pope um, done well what he had to do, done some good saves. Um, Burn was outstanding at left back, scored a lovely goal. Botman and Shaw, fantastic again. Trippier does what he does best, creates the chances, um, whips balls in. He's just an unreal leader on the pitch and a great captain for us. Um, Gamirez was outstanding again today, play of the match, obviously, when that the end interview. Um, Bruno got the reward, the Caribou Cup award, um, and rightly so, he was tremendous to get in the night, defending, getting the ball, passing, um, pushing up, creating chances, um, really good performance by um, Bruno at the day, um, Willett was outstanding, running behind, full of energy, full of legs, 
as he does all the time, creating chances, mostly on that left hand side, cutting in. Um, Almiron outstanding, again. everyone was just outstanding. Every single one of them was unreal. Maxi came on. Um, it was good to see him back after the other day. We thought it was a bust up. Obviously, he's not. It was just media rumours. Um, Maxi's back. He came on. So that was nice to see. Isaac came on as well. That was nice to see him. Yeah, he had some good chances. He had a good little run at one point. Um, got a corner. But he's still coming up. Uh, he's still building his fitness up. So, yeah. Um, amazing performance. Brendan Rodgers at the end of it. I saw him obviously shake Eddie Howe's hand and he just said to him, like, well done, what a job. That's what I let read anyways. And he knows that Eddie Howe's doing a fantastic job and St. James part of Fortress. Shea giving at the end was absolutely delighted. Um, as he is, he's a proper mag um, from Donny Goal. Probably the best goalkeeper I've ever had. Um, ever in history. Shea giving outstanding. But yeah, tonight we have won 2 0 comfortably. We're in the semi final draw now. Um, Manchester United won 3 0, I think it was, against Charlton, Rashford's and Fire. So tomorrow night, I think it's Manchester City and Southampton. I think it's Nottingham Forest Wolves. Um, I truly believe Man City will go through. Um, I just hope that the semi final draw that the Manchester clubs, Man United and Man City, get thrown against each other for two legs. Because if they do, it means whoever wins tomorrow night out at Nottingham Forest and Wolves will get them in the, in the semi-finals two legs. And I truly believe if we get them, we could get this final. I don't want Man City, I don't want United. But um, whatever will be, will be, people. Um, I loved at the end as well when we're singing the song. Sarah, Sarah, we're going to Wembley. I absolutely loved it. Um, I'd love to go to Wembley. It'd be an unreal have a final. I imagine film half the stadium full of Geordies would be absolutely scenes. Um, but yeah, people can dream now but win this Carabao Cup. There's only four teams left. Well, after tomorrow night's um, games, there'll be four teams left. Unreal scenes, people. Unreal scenes. Leave a comment underneath. Who was your man of the match? Obviously, we know Bruno was, but I want you to tell me who you thought was your man of the match. Um, yeah. Also, if you could pop down there, hit the thumb button, really help the channel. Um, cost It's totally free. So just hit that button and you help me out. Do me a favour. Thank you. And also, if you like what you see, get down there, hit the subscribe button, and also hit the bell notification so you'll be notified when I post new content. Um, I'll leave it there, people. Massive win tonight. Semi-finals, here we come. Absolutely buzzing. See you in the next one, people.